there with your girl, Jorea Alice. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so you know, I had you on a little while ago, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk about this, okay? I was, I was trying to hold out. I didn't want to be so <laughs> controversial, but I gotta talk about this now. Some months ago, and I mean some months ago. First of all, your boy DJ Wando be breaking music, but some yes. months ago, Jarea sent me this song called "Ready to Go." Pound Town. Am I right or wrong, sister? Absolutely right. Right. And, <laughs> and I played that song in my mix for a minute, didn't I, Jarea? Yes, we definitely had that whole summer. <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden, I'm just going to let you take it over from here. What happened, Jarea? Talk to me, sister. All of a sudden, you know, I'm enjoying my vibe in Pound Town. I'm in L.A. I'm performing in the city. I'm opening with Pound Town almost worldwide, y'all. We going real viral. We doing big things, right? And all of a sudden, I see somebody, who is that? A uh, Nasty Maroon? Um, which, what's her name? Uh, Dirty Maroon? Yeah. They call, uh, like, hold on, hold on. Listen, for those of you all who don't know, they call her Sexy Red. All right, go ahead, go ahead. There we go. (laughs) So all of a sudden, I see that person going viral for my song, Pound Town. And I'm like, okay, y'all, people get their songs stolen every day. But then I noticed that this this person had the same exact kind of hair color that I did when I was performing Pound Town and going viral. So, we've come across a copycat, someone very unoriginal, Mm. that has stolen my song, Pound Town, unfortunately. Mm. All right. Now, I will say this. I'm my people in the 217. The first time I heard Pound Town, ready to go. First time I heard Pound Town was from Jarell Alize because I break music. She hit me Thank up. You. She Thank hit you. me up and was like, look, I got this joint. I want you to listen to it. Let me know what you think. I heard it and instantly I was like, yes, this is the one. Let's go with it. Now, when did you make the Pound Town? So, I dropped Pound Town in 2022. It was, I believe, somewhere in the summer. So, summer of 2022, we dropped Pound Town. Okay. And this other person dropped theirs January of 2023, this year. Okay. And she was able to kind of go viral with that. So so now, listen, listen, I know a lot of people may think I'm being biased because, you know, I represent the 217. I represent Central Illinois. Period, period. We're going to hold court right now. Can we hold court? Yes. All right, let's hold court. All right. So what you're saying is that she stole your song, Pound Town. Am I correct? Absolutely. I would say specifically the concept of Pound Town because our songs are nothing alike. Right. Just for the record, Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she stole the song verbatim. She stole the concept. Therefore, this is the principle. Right. You know what? I will say, I, um, I remember you sending me that song first and then me getting that song from her second. I got to verify this. I know it's like controversial and, you know, I'm not being biased, but I do got to say that Jerea did send me that Pound Town song before I even heard it from Sexy Red. So for anybody out there who may say that uh, maybe you just clout chasing, maybe they said, nah, Jerea just mad because this song went viral, but your song went viral too. What do you say to them? How do you convince everybody because when your song is stolen a lot of people don't know you know it's kind of like when you see a fight they only see the second hit they don't see the first hit how do you convince right. everybody and let them know that you were the one who originated this concept of pound town what do you say to them that may question it so what i would say to you guys is um one thing about me is i stick with facts uh-huh. i'm not gonna speak on anything that i do not know Okay. Therefore, any and everything I say is documented, and you can search it, baby. Google tells you everything. 
Right. Google me and you'll find them. How do you think she heard it? I will say this. When I look at radio and as far as who's putting things out first, I will say that I keep track of this. And Jerea definitely put out the Pound Town first before Sexy Red. Do you think that she heard it somewhere and then they people just kind of jumped on it? Or, you know, how do you think she stole this song? So Pound Town was going viral and we were on multiple radio streams. And I know specifically one of my highest rating locations and listeners was from the St. Louis area. I actually just did a tour, the Way to Liddy tour, and we performed out there in St. Louis. So, you know, that was a big thing. I had a performance. I was on the radio out there. So I am 1,000% sure that she was living her everyday life and she was listening to me on the radio. And she was inspired. 